Man, that new Watch The Throne album is swag. And there's a new Space Coast perp tape out. That guy is really going places. But first, time to check out the new Skepta video. Click. Oh God! Today's story is about Skepta, not to be confused with fellow grime artist Crept, least gangster shoe on road Skechers, or the combination of the two, Crepta. Skepta first became famous in the mainstream for chanting the hook of his famous song, That's Not Me. And if I'd have done what he did in 2011, I'd have been screaming, That's Not Me Too. Because in 2011, he released his controversial song, All Over the House. And like any over-enthusiastic London estate agent, that song was all about Skepta telling you just how much leisure use he could get out of his spacious two-bedroom home. But with all of that space for activities, Skepta only seemed to have one thing on his mind, the act of lovemaking. Now, the song All Over the House is a textbook piece of pop songwriting. The central theme of having sex all over the house is reinforced in the chorus, and Skepta uses the verses to list just how many places he could make sweet mattress muffins with his missus. But since the song is so explicit, I don't want to break down every single lyric. So I decided it might be a little bit more advertiser friendly to give you a whistle-stop tour of all of the places in Skepta's house that you might want to give it 15 minutes before going in. So the list of places Skepta likes doing it in his house include the kitchen, the shower, the bed, the couch, against the wall, the front room, on the floor, and on all fours. Honestly, it's an impressive feat for Skepta to have nailed a chick in so many places. But at the same time, it's worth shining a light on some of those more underrated places where Skepta didn't leave a sticky grime stain. The balcony, on the sink, in the bath, or in the small cupboard that holds the electric meter. Now I've personally smashed in all of those places, so you need to step your game up, Skeppy. Now the song's lyrics alone were rude enough to make even a Dapper Laughs fan cringe. But for some reason, Skepta decided to accompany that unplayable X-rated ballad for Roadmen with an X-rated music video that was so shocking you simply couldn't ignore it. And in the process, he pushed the boundaries of exactly what a rap music video could be, as well as pushing the boundaries for just how objectified a woman could be in a rap video. I mean, this music video is so demeaning, it makes Robin Thicke's blurred lines look like an episode of Songs of Praise. I'm serious, the video for All Over the House depicts two people having hardcore, penetrative sex on camera while Skepta raps in the next room. I shit you not. The video spends most of its time cutting from Skepta rapping to the couple getting busy down the hall. Cutting back to him rapping solo in a corner as if he's been kicked out of the orgy for unwanted touching. And then back to extreme close-ups of hardcore action that is far too explicit to show on YouTube. But I'm serious, that's the entire video, just cutting back and forth between these shots. Skepta sitting in the naughty corner, Skepta looking so embarrassed he can't even look at the camera. And then boom, close up hardcore action. Seriously, the last time I saw Skepta performing next to such a disgusting mess, he was on stage at Ministry with Solo 4-5. And although the lovemaking in the video is pretty darn disgusting, you gotta hand it to Skepta for at least getting the guy to wear a condom. Not sure if the intention was promoting safe sex or just preventing liquid damage on the camera. And to make things worse, halfway through the video, a fellow BBC, sorry, I mean BBK rapper Shorty comes along to spit a verse. But his entire verse seems to take place in an empty room no nowhere near the action. I can't tell what he looks like more, a sad kid that's been locked in his room while his mum bangs the milkman, or just the eager beaver who arrived to the orgy first. Frankly, this entire video was completely outrageous and disgusting, and I only watched it three times before I got up and washed my hands in disgust. But hey, at least now we know exactly why Skepta had to throw that Gucci bedspread in the bin. You put it actually having sex? <laughs> what the hell? But look, what the hell? Oh, how can you be doing that? I'm done. That was outrageous. People were unsurprisingly shocked by this video. Grind forums all over the net were understandably appalled with Skepta, including one person seemingly offended by how cliche it was to show a shaved muff. Yes, Skepta, if you're going to rap next to a gaping dirt box, at least make sure it's got a little goatee. A headline from The Independent, which has been duly scrubbed from the internet, asked, has Skepta gone too far? And I think many people rightfully felt that he indeed had gone too far. But one question still remained. Why? Why did you do this to yourself, Skepta? Why? Now, I'm not sure exactly why he could have possibly thought this was a good idea, but taking a close look at his career leading up to this point does give a few clues. Now, Skepta came from humble beginnings as a DJ, rolling with the early grime clique Meridian Crew, which spawned the careers of many big names in grime today, including Skepta's brother and hungry vegan, JME, grime adaptation of the game Angry Birds, Boss Man Birdie, Meridian Dan, of course, well known for making a famous song about German whips, 
no, the less famous one. The dyslexic man's pot of paper, paper pabs, President T, sorry, I mean President T. And of course, the rapper most likely to have a helicopter landed on him, Big H. Skepta was actually Big H's DJ in the early days, a fact which godfather of Grime Wiley just won't let him forget. Trust me, you think I look at you like you're working with ASAP Rocky, you met Drake, you in Wimbledon with Drake, bro, you're Big H's DJ. Yeah, remember that. Unfortunately, the crew disbanded around 2005 after an affiliate of the crew was involved in a pretty nasty shooting and the lyrics were referenced against him in court. But ironically, it was actually around this time that Wiley convinced Skepta to go beyond DJing and pick up the mic. And I got home that day and Wiley, he phoned me and he was like, yo, why don't you fucking, why don't you spit like some grime lyrics or whatever? And I was like, I can't do grime, that's not for me, like, I don't. And while he wasn't initially interested in rapping, Skepta was eventually inspired to write his first bar, I shit you not, after using a machete to cut up an eight ball in his trap. Yeah. So I bought an eight ball, yeah, of fucking W, yeah. I wanted to chop it up to bag it up, innit? So I was looking around for things in the kitchen and I saw a machete gleaming and uh, something happened to me, bro. And I was like, go on then, draw for the machete. And I was like, what? And knowing that is why they call me Traplaw Ross. So after Skepta had drawn for the Shetty, he started writing other songs and building a buzz as a rapper. And from there, the new grime collective BBK or Boy Better Know was born, immortalized forever by the hit song Too Many Man in 2009 and Drake's stupid tattoo in 2015. It didn't take Skepta long to have his first taste of chart success with the club smash Rolex Sweep landing in at number 89 on the UK singles chart and its video landing in at number one on Skepta's most cringeworthy moments of his career chart. Nothing you do, Skepta, is gonna work. So after inventing the Grime Macarena, Skepta continued pushing forward, dropping his Microphone Champion album and landing two more songs on the UK charts. Sunglasses at Night hit number 64, and Too Many Man with BBK landed at number 79. And it's also worth mentioning that this album also featured the street classic, Look Out, a duet with fellow Drake Toy Boy and Peck Nam legend Giggs, which included a lo-fi music video with a very rare early appearance from Band OK's dad, Mark Duggan. So the strength of Skepta's self-released microphone champion attracted the attention of a major label all around the world. The same label who N-Dubs were signed to at the time. Ah, uh, N-Dubs, reminds me of pink polo shirts, Nappy Nights and WKD Vomit. Those were the days. Signing this deal seemed to push Skepta to a much more commercial sound, attempting to get international appeal. A sound that The Observer described as uncomfortable, and less generously, the enemy described as the sound of grime destroying itself. That was in a harsh 1.5 star review that reminded everybody that across the pond, Odd Future were taking over and making tunes that made Skepta's chart bait tracks sound like they were 30 years old. But regardless, that commercial sounding album called Doing It Again was released and ended up going top 20 on the album charts in the UK, with this being the album that the track All Over The House was on. And let's not forget, this was a time when Skepta was popping. In fact, that album also included the grime remix to Diddy Dirty Money's track Hello Good Morning. This was off the back of an unusual friendship that both Skepta and Diddy had sparked up around 2011. A very early moment of culture vulturalism that predated any of Kanye and Drake's attempts when Diddy came over to the UK and took an unusual interest in the grime scene. We gotta give it up to Skepta because he taught us a very, a very, a very important showmanship level. He came out in the red, motherfucking sexy, motherfucking But Skepta and Diddy's friendship was tragically cut short when Skepta decided to beat somebody up at Diddy's pool party. And if you ever see this guy drunk, it's but anyway, the Doing It Again album dropped and the first three singles did okay. The first single, Bad Boy, hit number 26 on the charts, featuring a rare appearance of Skepta wearing a Louis Vuitton tie, which I assume he later threw in the bin. Hang on a minute, Skepta, that's a belt, mate. Guess he really is a bad boy. The next track, Rescue Me, hit number 14, being his highest charting track of all time. And the third single, Cross My Heart, came in at number 31. But the fourth single So Alive featuring the label mates N-Dubs only came in at number 99 on the charts, and the fifth single Amnesia hit a measly 164 on the charts. Despite its slick music video featuring Skepta trying to cure his horrible bout of amnesia by applying a 50 euro note directly to his head. Idiot. Doesn't he know it only works with a stack of fives? Ooh. Ooh. 
I need to buy eggs. So at this point, Skepta was on the ropes, and the music industry was no longer buying his cringeworthy attempts to go pop. Especially considering the fact that Dizzy Rascal and Wiley had both perfected the art of cringeworthy sellout grime tracks years before Skepta. Skeppy was on the back foot, probably under pressure from his label, to deliver another hit and go viral in the charts. And so he did what all of us probably would have done if faced with the same set of circumstances. Film a low-budget porno with him rapping in the next room. And once that video dropped, he really would be wishing all of his fans did have amnesia. Now it's no wonder that after All Over the House, Skepta named his next project Blacklisted. The All Over the House video left an unignorable stink on him. Something like a mix of armpit sweat and worn out latex. But to Skepta's credit, not long after the backlash, he did man up and take responsibility for this awful decision. Who, who made that decision? Who Me. went, okay, you Me. did. Yeah. And apparently, even in spite of this being an all-timer of a bad decision, he revealed that he at least had the good sense to have not been the one doing the banging in the video after pressure from his girlfriend. I mean, my girlfriend especially, she was saying to me, look, uh, if you're in a video really going full on with a girl, yeah. this relationship can't really work, can it? Yeah. Because even though it's acting, I'm going to be a bit on the jealous side. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. cool, Yeah. what else can I That's do? very considerate of Yeah, so I was like, what else can I do? And I thought, I'm going to make that happen. Hmm, what else can I do? I know, I'll squat in the corner while they go at it in the spare room. But jokes aside, he accepted that he'd had a lapse of judgment in making this video and swore that he was planning to never talk about it again after that interview. I didn't put it on YouTube. Yeah. And that's the way I look at it. And that's all I have to say about the whole video. And I think, yeah. I think after today, seeing as Radio 1 is the biggest UK station, I will not talk about a video ever again. And so after All Over the House flopped and abandoning another commercialized album called The Honeymoon, Skepta went back to the drawing board and his roots and created the banger of an album, Blacklisted. And he actually mentioned this whole debacle on the track Ace Hood Flow, where he said people thought that All Over the House video would crush him. And so after overcoming this blip and getting back to the authentic sound of grime that we truly knew Skepta was capable of creating with Blacklisted, he was back in the game. But he didn't truly return to being the top boy of grime until he released his absolute clangor of a song that's not me. Even winning a MOBO award for best music video having only spent 80 pounds. Skepta featuring Jamie. That's not me video cost me 80 English pounds. Amazing considering the fact that if you try to remake the all over the house video for 80 quid, you'd have to rename the song Handjob in an Alley Behind Weatherspoons. And so Skepta was back on top, but we all know that he is the ultimate trendsetter. And even though the idea of a hardcore porn video flopped, it didn't take long for Skepta's swag to expand beyond the genre of grime music. In fact, only recently has the idea of explicit hardcore music videos made its way to the UK drill scene, as we recently saw in Young Shush's video for his song All Over the Block. Bad B come to the nits. I slide in like an old night sock in a new pair of Vapor Max hits. Like a Rambo in the lobster ribs. Tell a bad B hold this dots. Well, you're there, babe, hold this cock. Leave the mattress wet like a op in a pagan block when I bust this rock. Get a rough, then I'm baking off. Get top, then I'm taking off. Strap it up, don't take it off. She dreams of my cock like blazing squad. I practice the safest sex. If we bang, then she's getting it wrapped. Man's dick in a durex look like a 12 inch shank in the evidence back. I was lurking, and then she knocked at the bando. Key and lock in the stairwell. Pulled out my sh. Basically, we had sex all over the block. All over the block. All over the block. Basically, we had sex all over the block. All over the block. All over the block. Basically, we had sex all over the block. Free merch! That's right, people, video's over, but do you want to have some free Trap Law merch? Of course you do. You might be broke, but you still want to rep the gang, gang, gang. Head on over to my Instagram, Trap Law Ross, follow your boy, and leave a comment on my merch giveaway post with your size, your city, and what piece of merch from my merch store you want. I'm going to pick a winner in a week, and I'm going to send you a piece of merch absolutely free. Zero pounds. That's a good price. That's, wait, people don't do that anymore. Okay, allow that, that. Yeah, zero pounds, because it's the blood sign and zero. It's not the, the bad sign people don't like. Go get some free merch. Thank you for watching. That's the end of the video. Appreciate you. This one was, I was really excited to make this one, to be honest, because this is a classic story and I have to go in on young Skeppy. But of course, no hard feelings. I'm a big fan of Skepta, especially the 
belt for a tie thing. That's a new one. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure that you like and subscribe below. Thank you very much for all your support. Thank you so much for everybody that's been liking, commenting, and subscribing, saying nice stuff. It's really been making me feel good lately when I've been going through a hard time. Appreciate everybody out there. You are the gang gang. Thank you very much. And until next time, double peace out. Had to do it to him. Gang gang.